Hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, so yeah, I'm representing Renew Power over here in this session to just give developers perspective. As being the deputy CFO, obviously for me, uh, managing risk is uh, obviously one of the key, you know, result areas uh, from my perspective. And uh, you know, that's where obviously we worry a lot about you know what's happening in the world of technology, what's happening to module quality, uh, whether these panels will last, will last uh, 20, 25 years as is being claimed. Uh, what is the value behind all these warranties and so to say so obviously we've had a very healthy discussion on most of these topics and uh, you know from our perspective i'll just try to you know enlighten uh, you know what we try to do to uh, you know manage some of these risks obviously you know we cannot mitigate them completely but that's where you know you will have to sort of uh, you know take judicious calls on how to manage them uh, so you know from the module side you know we obviously get these warranties uh, from our suppliers and uh, you know, we all know that, you know, because these are 25 year long warranties, uh, some of these suppliers may not be around for that long a period. So obviously then, you know, there are insurance products which are available. Uh, you know, we did explore the option of buying insurance, uh, you know, from some of these, uh, on some of these modules, uh, but the cost benefit analysis, and, and sort of the fine print uh, just did not give us any comfort that, you know, if there was any time a problem, uh, you know, we would be able to claim anything under that. So, you know, we did not actually end up taking any of uh, those uh, insurances. What we have tried to do is that, uh, you know, we have taken uh, a comprehensive insurance uh, locally in India, uh, which essentially cover the risk that, you know, in case a supply was to go bankrupt and in that scenario, you know, we may have, uh, you know, some claim from our insurance companies to the extent, obviously, there is a problem. So, you know, these are some of the steps that, you know, we're taking, but obviously this uh, risk still has to be managed much better. And I'm sure there will be uh, more products which will be available, uh, which will give us that uh, comfort and confidence, uh, you know, to invest in, in these uh, modules, so to say. Uh, the other aspect, uh, you know, which we worry a lot about is on the financing side. And uh, there again, uh, you know, the trend that, you know, we've seen in infrastructure today is that, you know, there are road projects where the off-taker is NHAI, uh, you know, the uh, debt uh, which is borrowed for those sort of projects typically gets a AAA sort of a rating uh, because the off-taker quality is very nice. Uh, at the same time, even for uh, transmission projects, uh, there again, uh, you know, what we tend to see is that, uh, you know, because PGCI is the off-taker, uh, again, the, you know, rating on some of those projects is AAA. But renewable energy projects, you know, we haven't seen that. Uh, so obviously, you know, we did, uh, especially for NTPC or SECI type of projects. Now, obviously, we've worked a lot with rating agencies. Uh, you know, we've met them and we've tried to convince them that, you know, this is a similar sort of a risk where, you know, the offtake is completely taken care of. And as far as the uh, project is concerned, uh, you know, the ability to forecast uh, the generation, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the availability of all these databases, you know, which have long term, you know, satellite information, meter norm 7, 9, whatever else is there. Uh, however, you know, we've not been able to convince them on one aspect, which is the technology side, uh, which is whether these modules will actually last for 25 years. So that is one area uh, which has sort of, uh, you know, constrained our ability. Uh, to get a better rating and hence better financing terms for some of these NTPC SECI type projects also. Uh, and that is an area, you know, which, you know, we will have to, you know, as an industry, you know, try to come up and address, uh, you know, how we can sort of mitigate that risk, you know, maybe, you know, few years, the track record is established, maybe there is a stronger, uh, you know, insurance available. And, and that's how, you know, we'll try to sort of address that. With that, I'll just end this session. Thanks.